谢谢地遇见了你，这一生的美好为你而已。风里来，雨里去，多么干净。手向我，眼向看，温暖气息。the bride you're looking for? Yeah, so? Move it! Hey! Uh. All your men here have just frightened my horse. Now you'll pay. What, what is, is this? this? Uh. Go that way. You go that way! Right. By Luton, now! the prince. You can't fall off a horse. Just look, so much mud. Where did you on Lugo? He wasn't around? Sister, I went to Shiolu camp. He can't go there. Also, this cut here is nothing. Looks painful. It's not nothing. Brother, it's only you and I now. Our father passed away, and then you left. I've been feeling extremely anxious. My nerves are all shot. Sister, please don't worry. I'm not a child now, right? Here, sit. Brother, will you promise me that you'll be careful in the future? If something happened to you, I would be all alone. Sister. That's enough. Oh. Brother. My prince. She's a mother of two. Why is she still a crybaby? Aren't you scared his highness will laugh at you? <sighs> Please help my wife get back to her room. Yes. All right. I'll be going now. My prince, there's something we should discuss for a few days. Would you come with me? That sounds good to me. I think I know exactly what we'll discuss. Please. Please. Gao Zhan met with the Prime Minister Zhang. And then he met with the princess? Yes. And after he went inside, Prince Xu Xianxu headed back home early. They went into the study, 
have not come out. They've been talking for many hours now. He is now the Minister of War. He's also the Marshal of the Cavalry. Recruit a few of our guards. Set an ambush. Do it now. Auntie, I can do that. But is that too much? Of course it isn't. I was certain that Gao Jian would take action, but not for a few days. I didn't know he'd be so impatient. Yen just became our new emperor. Let's be careful or they'll exploit him and steal the throne. You think of everything, Auntie. Right. I'll do it now. Hmm. Hold on. Make sure this is a clean job. Also, make sure someone else is blamed. Don't worry, Auntie. Way people are great scapegoats, aren't they? Hey, move it! You're new here? Huh? Get up! Move it! This is my spot! Go! Looking for palace maids. All the concubines need looking after, and they need more maids. This is very well paid. If I was a father, my daughter would do this. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm serious. Us commoners need the money. We're not rich like the prince is, right? A palace maid will serve the concubines and have a great life. going, okay? Sister, relax. She's not worth your time. Just look. You're right. Look at how badly she dresses. It's pitiful. <laughs> Next stop. I'm Shen Bi. I'm 18, from the city. Go inside. Thank you. Next up. I'm Chunyang. I'm 17, from Shuzhou. Go inside. Thank you. I'm Lu Zhen. I'm 16, from nearby. Your ID? ID? I need to have your proof of identity. Uh, but I forgot to bring it with me today. Then you'd better go and get it. Or you won't be able to go into the palace. Okay, next up. The chief followed Han rules, 
Those with a decent family background and who weren't born to actors or musicians or beggars or slaves would be issued a certificate to prove which family they were from. This proof of identity would show Lu Jun's name and age and family background and was currently held by Madame Zhao, who kept it inside Lu's residence. different now, huh? What happened to you? Hey, got money? Come on. You did steal my place earlier today, huh? So you should share the wealth. Hey, thanks. See me if you need help. I'm resourceful, huh? See ya. Hey, hold on. Huh? What? Mm, I'll give you some more if you can help me find a place to get a fake ID. You're asking the right guy. Go find Master Zhao in south of here. Can you take me? Of course. Let's go. Let's go faster. ID. <sighs> no problem. I have a lot. Just write your name here. And stamp it. Then it'll work. How much is it? I can pay. Ten tails of gold. Ten tails of gold? That's a lot. I'm the only person around who can do this for you. Take it, or you can leave. <laughs> now listen, don't think of pulling a fast one. I know every trick in the book. What if I give you this thing? <laughs> hey, you want it? Make the ID first. Heh. <laughs> Look at you. Aren't you a smart one? So, what's the name that you want? Uh... You can write Lu Zhen, and it's spelled how it sounds. Check it carefully. Once you pay, it's final. This young woman is very attractive. I just forgot about one more thing. Let me take a look. <laughs> I don't make mistakes. My IDs are perfectly done. But if you want to have this back, <laughs> you will. You will have to go to bed with me right now. <laughs> Let go! I already paid! That thing is worth so much! But your pretty body is worth much more. <laughs> Let go! Help me! Help me! Quiet, or I'll say you got a fake ID. That's punishable by death. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Come on now! Let me go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! Wait for me! Wait for me! 
Cut it close, I was closing up. Hmm. Go inside. Go on. Find the other girls. Thank you, sir. Go on. Oh, no. There's a blood stain. Jung's here. Greetings, madam. You want to work here? Yes. The palace is not a place where anyone can work, which means if you want to stay, you will take three tests first. In a minute, somebody will call out your names one by one. When it's called out, come here to me and bow. If I say stay, that means you passed. You will stand on my left. If I say leave, you will turn and go home. All right. Are you ready to do this? Yes, we are ready. Liu Yushu. Yes. Stay. Liu Jen. Stay. Shen Bi. Stay. Why are they all different from Madame Jones? So is her hairstyle. You don't understand. That's a wig. Only female officials can wear it. Oh. Yes. Liu Yushu. Yes. You're working in the palace and find out your master is sick, but still want to go for a walk. What will you do? I, I, I don't know. To the right. Lu Jen. If your master has offered a plate of snacks, but the taste of it will make you feel sickly, what would you do about it? Whatever I'm given will be dear to me. I'll place it on the altar, and I'll be grateful every day. Go stand on the left. Yes. Zhou Shunyang. All right. This will be the final test. You can see a book on the table there. Copy what's inside it within the two hours. Are you ready to do this? Yes, yes we are ready. ready. Begin. But I can't write. Ah! <laughs> Madam, there's water here. See? Deal with it. Brushes down. Lu Jun, you can write calligraphy then. 
Not bad. Her Excellency is here! Greetings, Greetings Madame, Madame Wong. Wong. Madame Lo, how did all the tests go? Madame Wong, it went well. Who wrote this? You. Come here. Madam. You wrote this? Yes. Where are you from? What is your name? I'm Lu Zhen. I'm from... I'm from Dongfu. Why did you hesitate just now? Let me see her ID. Here you're from Dongping. Also, this paper was only issued to the public last year. This ID is a fake. Hm. Please, madam, I can explain. What's your plan here? You couldn't even tell that was a fake. I'm gonna die. Take her. Drag this liar out of here. No, please. Look. I can explain this. Look. I have a valid reason. Look. No, wait. I beg you for another chance. Come on. Madam. How bold! Forging an ID? You don't know how lucky you are. You could be killed! Get lost! Go on! Leave! <laughs> My sister's gone to bed. I won't disturb her. Brother, I shall take my leave. I am counting on you. My prince, since I'm honored to be called your brother, it means I'll certainly do my utmost. And I will also honor my promise to the late emperor and to those in the Shu family. I'm reassured by your words. Dad, are you really going to help him? <sighs> yeah. The emperor we have now is weak-willed. If he continues to be manipulated by Empress Lo, our lands will be destroyed in the long run. Prince Chongguang is very well versed. His mom was from Roran. He would have been such a better choice for the heir to the throne. <sighs> also, your mom? and Prince Changguang are real siblings. Even if the Shu family want to stay neutral, Empress Lo would not believe it at all. What's wrong? You worked hard. Tonight, we'll just walk. Hmm? Please wait, Your Highness. Uh, greetings, my prince. Her Highness has been worried about you, so I've come to escort you. Come this way. You're just in time. Hey, you're lucky, huh? Thank you. Let's go!
Yeah. This is the third time, isn't it? Here, your medicine. There's no physician around here, so I had to make it myself with herbs. I heard that it's very effective on sword wounds. So I'm alive. No, they killed you. <laughs> Can't you tell? You're in hell now. I'm Oxhead, your horse face. <laughs> uh, did those men hold some sort of grudge? They were cruel. I guess. If you didn't stop them, they would have killed you. Mm. But they look like guards, though. Are you a bad guy? Sure. Oh, I guess we're in the same boat then. But I won't ask you who you really are. And you don't ask why I ran away. Okay. Now I can apply the herbs on your wound. When I go and buy some food, I'll get you some help. Hey, don't do that. They might find me. Just relax. They won't find you. We're far away. Fifteen miles away. There was a big storm last night, so any traces have been washed away now. No one lives around here, so it's just us two. We're 15 miles away? Mm. How'd you carry me? I use that. You see? Mm? I'm okay. Thank you. That's all right. We're even now. <laughs> Mister, where can I find a doctor here? Down that way. Thanks a lot. What's that? What's that? Let's see. They're very I'm cheap. Thinking I might yeah. need one Even my women are being vicious. Mr. Jiang's in great pain. He can't get out of his own bed. You see, this reward notice is everywhere. One deal of gold to get this woman. <laughs> one tail of gold? Or a porter if I find her here. <laughs> How could that woman do that to Mr. Jiang? I couldn't hurt another person. Raise your arm. A bit higher. Oh. Oh dear. I see. Madam, his arm is much worse than I thought. Worse? Doctor, help my cousin. Please try to heal his arm. Let's see. Try these out. This to consume, this one on the wound. It's quite serious. Give him good food for his nourishment, right? Mm. Doctor, how bad is my injury? Your tendon's broken, so it's very serious. I know you practice martial arts, and it will be hard for you to hold a sword. It's broken. Reattach it. The great Huato had once reattached a foot. But there's no way I'm as skilled as he was. Huh? Uh, doctor, huh? for you. I'll see you out. Oh, thank you.
you'll never hold a sword again. Sit down. You see? The air is fresh. If you spend more time outdoors, then you will heal faster. You need nourishment. The soup smells great. Just have a little. No, thank you. You were only injured. So don't be so dejected. Even if you can't use your arm again, at least you're still alive. Hey, I think that maybe you... Just leave me alone. Don't get angry at me! Sorry, but I'm crippled now. Don't waste your time on me anymore. Oh, so that's why you want to die. Your master must have been blind. Why did he give a great sword to a coward like you? Now listen, don't think about dying. Since I saved your life, it's up to me if you live. Your tendon's uh, broken. Uh, uh, Bin's legs were chopped off. Sima Chen castrated, but they lived on. Grow up. You're an adult now. Having some pain isn't a big deal. Look at you being like this. I'm miserable as well. Did you know that when my dad died, my stepmother forced me to marry someone to get rid of me? I was desperate, faked an ID, and tried to pass as a palace maid. If I was a coward, I would be dead now. But I won't stop. I'll stay alive, and I'll seek revenge for my dad. I'll make my stepmother pay soon. I will not let her walk all over me. My dad said, there's still hope if you're alive, which means you will not die. This food was bought with my last coins. You'll eat it all. Don't complain. Got it? Hey, look, I am sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I should treat you kindly. You're injured and in great pain. It's fine if you don't want it. Wait. You saved my life. I have no right to waste it. Your wound isn't healing. Tomorrow, I'll get the doctor. But you don't have money. Take this pendant. Go to a pawn shop. But isn't this white jade? It must mean much to you. How'd you know? The edges are smooth, which means you always play with it. Well, you're quite the detective, aren't you? Yeah, it means much to me. But you haven't eaten for a long time. I must part with it. How'd you know that? <laughs> Just eat it. Hey, stay. Hey, don't say hey. I've a name, Lu Zhen. Lu Zhen, uh, please have the chicken meat. No, you're in pain. You should eat it. Come on. If you starve, who will tend to me forever? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't talk nonsense. Saying forever. You want to stay in here? Besides. Anyone who can wield that sword isn't normal. Mm, and maybe you have a group of maids waiting on you somewhere out there. You won't need my help. You're smiling. No, I'm not. Oh, um, 
My name is Gao Chan. I, I didn't ask for your name, though. Here, have some. Hmm? Eat. Come on, listen. Of course I want to help you. But this has to heal naturally. And it will take you some time. There's nothing I can do for it now. You said before, Hua Tuo had stitched a foot back. What about my arm? <sighs> but Hua Tuo did that. Not me. I wouldn't dare try stitching you. Also, no other doctor would. It is out of the question. I wasn't asking you. <sighs> Would you? What? You want me to stitch your wound up? You did say to me not to give up. If my wound stays like this, it won't heal for a long time. Let's throw the dice and see what fate has in store. If you're sure, I will. Hey, 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 hey. Please don't. You're both crazy. It's such a bad idea. Here, come here. skills aren't that great. Maybe get someone else to redo it? <sighs> <laughs> I just can't believe you young people. You two are actually flirting like that in broad daylight, aren't you? <laughs> oh dear. Well, young man, you were the first person in my years of practice who's been that stubborn. All right, I'll give you some free medicine. If you could endure that pain just now, then trust me, you'll recover fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Doctor. Uh, he might be fine now, but this evening, he will heat up. When he does, you should give him some salt water and wipe down his body. Wipe his what? But... He's your lover, isn't he? Why is that awkward? Uh, doctor! Yeah? Did you forget? He, he's my cousin! <laughs> for me are you serious yeah I feel awful <sighs> oh. so where uh, just down here here uh, not there try down here no wait not there. Just further down. Uh. Uh -huh. No, not there. Further down. Further down? Are you crazy? Now just be thankful I'm doing your back. You're being really fussy. Hey, now you should be the thankful one, okay? Not me. If I was hurt like Sima Qian, then what would you do with me? What are you trying to imply? <laughs> oh! Oh! oh no. Sorry. Are you all right? Huh? Sorry. I'm all right. I was just joking with you. 
It doesn't hurt? No. My mom said, if it really hurts, then you have to admit it. Oh yeah, when I had fevers, before my mom would play a song that she knew. Wanna hear? Sure. Hang on. you something. We're strangers. So then why care for me? There's no reason. I have a kind heart. I hate suffering. I will help anyone, even if it's a dog or a cat. I won't let them die. Does that mean I'm only a dog or a cat to you then? Don't be stupid. Huh? You will say the strangest things to me. Come on. I'm making a joke. I'm 